In this lecture, I will introduce gray code. In the last presentation, we completed accessory code addition and the next type of code is gray code. What is gray code? What are its properties and why do we call it gray code? We are going to cover in this lecture. Gray code is also known as reflected binary code. In short, R, B, C, reflected binary code. And we call it gray code because it was given by Frank Gray. We call it gray code after Frank Gray. Frank Gray was a physicist and researcher at AT&T Bell Labs who made numerous inventions in television. Gray code is a binary numeral system where two successive values differ in only one bit. This is the most important point in this presentation. I will write it down. Gray code is a binary numeral system where two successive values differ in only one bit. Two successive values differ in only one bit. This is very important point. And because of this, binary number is converted to gray code to reduce switching operation. I will write this point down. Binary number, binary number is converted is converted to gray code to gray code to reduce reduce switching operation so these are the two important points the first one is the successive values differ in only one bit in case of gray code and binary number is converted to gray code to reduce switching operation right Today, gray codes are widely used to facilitate error correction in digital communications such as cable TV systems. Now, what about weight in case of gray code? Gray code is an unweighted code. There is no positional weight in case of gray code. Gray code is also called as unit distance code and minimum error code. So, there are so many names for gray code. The first one is reflected binary code, RBC. The second one is unit distance code third one is minimum error code and the fourth one is cyclic code cyclic code gray code is also called as cyclic code so don't confuse yourself with these names they all stands for gray code right now we will move to we will move to this table in which the first column is for decimal number from 0 to 16 the second column is for binary number and the third column is for gray code and I will use this table to explain you this point two successive values differ in only one bit in case of gray code so the first thing that you have to do is to convert the decimal number to binary and then we will convert these binary numbers to gray code in this lecture I'm not going to explain you how to convert binary to gray code I will explain this in next lecture. I have already completed the column for gray code and now we will see why switching operation is reduced in case of gray code. Let's try to analyze 3 and 4. 3 in case of binary is 0, 0, 1, 1 and 4 in case of binary is 0, 1, 0, 0. I will consider a case in which we are having 3 and we want to switch to 4. So let's see how many bits we need to change. This is B3, B2, B1, B0 and in case of gray code we have Z3, G2, G1 and G0. Now let's see how many bits are changing in case of binary number system. 1 is changing to 0, B0 is 1 in case of 3 and in case of 4 it is equal to 0. So B0 is changing, B1 is also changing from 1 to 0 b2 is also changing from 0 to 1 and b3 is same 0 and 0 now we will analyze the same case for gray code g0 is same g1 is same g2 is changing from 0 to 1 g3 is same so you can clearly see to switch from 3 to 4 we need to change 3 bits in case of binary whereas in case of gray code we only need to change one bit that's why gray code is called as unit distance code and switching operation is reduced in case of gray code let's take another example 
let's take example of 7 and 8 in case of binary you can see b0 is changing b1 is changing b2 is changing and b3 is also changing so to switch from 7 to 8 we need to change all the four bits but in case of gray code in case of gray code g0 is same g1 is same g2 is same and only g3 is changing you can also check for any other case and you will find only one bit is changing in case of gray code and this statement is now verified so this is all for this presentation now we will move to homework problem in homework problem you have to learn application application of gray code if you have doubt regarding any part of this lecture you may ask in comment section